Hi, welcome to Potato Fire Views. Today I have the Topping E70 Velvet DAC. In case you're wondering what's a DAC and what it's used for, DAC means digital to analog converter and it's a device that is placed between your digital music source and your amplifier. Digital sources could be a music streamer, a laptop, or a CD player. The Topping E70 cost $449 and it was shipped from China via DHL. This is the silver color and there is also a black option. This DAX design is very simple. It only has a small LED display, power button, and a volume knob on the front. On the back, it has XLR and RCA outputs, which can be used independently or at the same time. Input connections are coaxial, optical, Bluetooth, and USB. There is also a AC main power switch, which I use a lot to completely remove power from my device. One unique feature is its trigger in and out, which facilitates automatic turning on or the option to turn on another equipment automatically. You could get a Weem Pro Music Streamer, which has a trigger out. Connect the trigger out from the Weem to the toppings trigger in. This will allow the DAC to be turned on automatically. You can also go a step further and connect the DAC to an amplifier that has trigger in so the amp can be turned on automatically. The downside of all of these connections are more wire. So personally, I would just turn on each device physically. A remote is included with the E70, which is very handy to control most of the DAC's functions. The E70 has six PCM filters, which has an effect on its sound. I find myself liking F5, which is super slow roll off. DACs have a chip, which have a huge influence on the type of sound being produced. The Topping E70 Velvet has an AKM chip, I recently reviewed the SMSL SU9N, which had a ESS chip. I also have an integrated amplifier that utilizes the famous ESS Sabre chip. My opinion on the difference in sound between the two chips provided are AKM is a bit warm sounding and musical, while ESS is neutral and analytical. I use this stack with my Weem Mini and I tried a bunch of different amplifiers and speakers, especially with my new favorite speaker, the Polk R100, which has a very detailed sound for its price. My definition of the word musical is a pleasant, melodious sound or well done recording, which replicates the experience of a live band. The sound produced from this stack can be described as very musical, with a smooth, clean sound. Bass was powerful and accurate. Mid-range was detailed, while treble was clear, crisp, and not harsh in any way. My listening sessions consist of music from many genres, such as jazz, reggae, and country. I was trying to find music that incorporated a band or instrument, and I found a song that I really liked. It's called Weed Instead of Roses by Ashley Munro, which was on the album Like a Rose. The song sounded so good. The female vocals along with the instruments was just marvelous. When I used the Weem, I connected it to the E70 using an optical cable. I also connected my MacBook to the DAC via its USB input. I used Tidal Hi-Fi to stream music and for some reason, the Weem produced a better sound, which had a more bold presence. Topping and SMSL are two companies that make DACs, which are affordable and modern. They always utilize the newest technology and features available. Having owned both brands, SMSL is more user-friendly and easier to navigate, and the SMSL display screen has words, while the topping has letters, more like codes, such as A1 and A2. When I first got the topping, I had to use their user manual to find out what some things are, and honestly, I still can't figure out how to use some of the features. For example, I can't figure out how to disable the preamp function. 
My budget for a DAC is around $500, and that's because of the constant change in technology and also the fact that Topping and SMSL are releasing products on rapid fire. Something worth mentioning, my SMSL SU9N had unbalanced sound issues after nine months of use and had to be replaced by the distributor. Physically, the Topping E70 seems a bit more solid than my SMSL. Overall, this is a wonderful DAC and I'm going to keep it in my collection. I think it's an outstanding value once you get familiar with using its functions. To continue seeing more videos like this, consider subscribing. Also, feel free to express yourself in the comments. I make audio videos in the simplest way possible for beginners. Until next time, cheers.